<clears throat> What's up, Internet? I'm Bread. This is my mapping for the Novation Twitch. Let's get started. Pads. First bank is hot cues. Of course, hold the hot cue button. Press it to delete the hot cue. Press any blank hot cue. You can set one. This is the effects section. These pretty lights here. They're for when people come up to you and ask if they can touch your shit. Seriously, they don't do anything. The buttons. Turn on effects 1, effects 2, and effects 3. Depending on which effects are loaded. We'll get to that some later. Third bank is grat mode, based on DJ Tech Tools MIDI Fighter. Love those guys. These two. Delay. Another delay. A gator. Another gator. And then four beat mashers with a midi fighter combo when you hold three and then press the fourth. Make sure you let go of the fourth button first because of the way the twitch is made. Oops, track ran out. It's a demo my friend made. Fourth button is slicer. This is a really awful track to try to use it with. Um, it works really well with vocal samples because it chops it up and moves it around. Um, it's based heavily on the way the decalized version of the DJ Tech Tools MIDI Fighter works. Faders are the same. Faders are the same. Press this button right here. Press this guy right here. It becomes fader effects. A lot of fun. Moving on. Test trip is the same. Swipe back to slow it down. Swipe forward to speed it up. Drop and move it around anywhere in the track. Easy button for sync. You love it. Hold shift. Touch for it becomes beat masher. Tempo is increased. Sensitivity. Because it was a pain in the ass just turning it and turning it and turning it and turning it. Um, mixer section. Low, same. Mid is the same. High is the same. Filter is now always on, because if you can't center a filter knob, you should just start over. This button is now for the headphone cue. This knob is now the looping section. All you do is turn the knob to select the size, click the button for what size you want the loop to be. Of course, button below is now fader effects, we already covered that. Now let's get to the effects section. Because of the way the Twitch was built, I couldn't really figure out how to work around this quite yet. But just make sure that this light is on. Don't press it again because it turns it off and then none of these knobs really work very well. Yeah, they don't work at all. Whoops. Anyways. So these four knobs and these four buttons on the top are meant to be used with the effects section down here and these three buttons. Button 1 is effect 1, button 2 is effect 2, and button 3 is effect 3. Knob 1 is effect 1, knob 2 is effect 2. Knob 3 is effect 3. Be careful with knob 3, again, because of the way the twitch is built. This knob is always on soft takeover. I couldn't really figure that one out. This knob all the way in the back is dry wet for both both of them. Both decks. This button here, effects bank 1. It's going to be beat masher, gator, and transpose stretch. Effect bank 2 on deck A is delay, filter 92 LFO, and digital lo fi. If you know how to use the mapping, or if you know how to map, uh, I guess you can change it. This brings us to the echoes. First echo is a short echo, it echoes out kind of a shorter time span. Second one is a bit longer. Yep. Shift button now blinks with the tempo. Um, I think that's 
about it. I hope you enjoy the mapping. Have fun. Um, please donate some money to me if you think it's worth it. But only if you think it's worth it. Have a good time. Enjoy.